What's up? It's Sedella here, and I'm here today to give a dream decoding reading. So basically what this is going to be is me giving a um, reading that's a dream interpretation over dreams that might have occurred last night um, while the new moon in Capricorn energy was really, really, really turned up. So um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, one thing that made me want to do this reading is just because like I've been getting really, really interested in um, dream work and how much healing we can actually do through dreams, how much knowledge comes to us through dreams and um, how much dreams really, really do matter. Um, I know a lot of people are really sometimes scared to explore dreams, especially nightmares or dreams that they think may have negative reflections on the lives that they live when they're awake. But um, usually that's not the case. Usually I find that usually what we think about dreams our reasoning for why we might have them is usually really different than what they actually uh, represent. So let's just go ahead and get right into it and ask Spirit about any dreams that the collective may have had last night due to the new moon and Capricorn energy that was at a peak and really turned up last night. Okay, I got <laughs> robots slash aliens. So if any of you had dreams about aliens or robots, um, UFOs or anything like that last night, then this definitely is for you. So the back of this card says, aliens and or UFOs in a dream may indicate your desire to escape reality. Perhaps your mind is visionary in character. Your imagination can take you beyond the limits of the ordinary. The downside of this abundant creativity is that you may have problems fitting in with worldly expectations. There may be some lack of connection between yourself and others. You may feel different in some way and struggle to conform with the requirements of a role. This kind of dream is urging you to celebrate your uniqueness. It may also suggest that there are aspects of yourself you have yet to discover. Dreams about robots may have a similar meaning, but expressed as a warning. You may be losing your individuality in your attempts to conform. Don't become a robot. Um, or you may need to be more logical and less emotional in your daily life. Or could the opposite be true? The dream's mood may make this clearer. So um aliens robots that's what we're gonna focus on today so if you have any type of otherworldly experience any type of experience that was out of the world that we know as earth um i'm gonna dive a little deeper for you so let's pull some cards my sun and the moon tarot deck more info on this Okay, so I got the High Priestess and um, Eight of Wands. And so this definitely speaks to um, what this Dream Decoder card was actually speaking to because um, the High Priestess is very much so connected to the moon, connected to the dream state, connected to um, intuition. And also for me, the High Priestess is also connected to exploration in a way of exploring the opposite side of yourself or like exploring the not per se shadow side but kind of like almost exploring that dream side of yourself um exploring the depth of yourself exploring the waters of yourself um so yeah and then also the eight of wands to me is a card that is all about action. It's all about adventure. It's all about exploration. It's about just really um, uh, adventure, especially and like a, a childlike wonder of wanting to explore and wanting to just break all limits and just wanting to let your passion lead the way. 
so yeah. So to me, this is saying that you're having these dreams and stuff as a way to kind of explore, explore yourself. But it's not so much exploring yourself in most of the ways that we usually think of. It's exploring yourself as in exploring, okay, what things outside of my day-to-day -day am I really interested in? Or what things outside of the reality that I've been told I should be living do I want to explore? What things outside of the limits of this reality that you're in right now do you want to explore? It's just like, to me, this robot to aliens dream is kind of like, it's kind of like dreaming about your dreams. What are your dreams outside of this world? As in, when I say this world outside of the many limitations that this world can put on us. Because we all know there's so many limitations that come from this world. You can't do this because you're a woman. You can't do this because you're a man. You can't do this because you're black. You can't do this because you're a minority. You can't do this because you're not educated enough. You can't do this because you're not an expert enough. You can't do that. That's not responsible. You can't do that. That's not living a good life. How many opinions, how many limitations, how many restrictions do we have put on us? by this I guess this contract of being a upstanding what being a upstanding or a conventional or a traditional human on earth is is like it's like how many limits do we truly have on us there are so many that people will place on you if you allow them to and that you will place on yourself if you allow yourself to absorb those limitations and um, place them on yourself so to me, if you had a dream last night about robots and aliens, you really, really should explore, explore the side of you that goes against logic. Explore the side of you that goes against logic, but do it with balance. Do it with balance and um, be ready to explore and to not only explore, but also be able to handle what comes with living your dreams what comes with stepping outside of the reality that most people are living in because there are going to be challenges within itself that comes with living that life no path is going to be 100 percent easy so um yeah if you had dreams about robots and aliens last night go ahead and, and explore those things that you feel are taboo. Explore those things that are unknown to you. Explore the depth of those things. Because when you, I feel like when you explore those things, you're going to be exploring yourself more. You're going to be opening up your mind more. But just be ready to be swift and to be adaptable and to be flexible and to um, greet things with a kind of like, oh this cup is half full instead of half empty because usually when you look at things that is from a half full perspective it's not like that forced positivity it's just like okay so i know that i'm working with a half full glass so what can i do with that how can i be innovative and turn that into something how can i be flexible how can i be like the wind really so um yeah aliens robots explore explore otherworldly thoughts more and i mean thoughts that aren't so that are so rooted in logic grounded in strict logic and what you can see in front of you let's see if any chakras were addressed with this dream. Mm. We got the crown chakra with release and we got um, the throat chakra with vanity. So to me, this seems like these are two restrictions two limitations that uh, people may have put onto themselves. The inability to truly release, to truly release and to not put yourself through despair. Um, 
through ooh ooh through conforming uh, through conforming uh, this is why vanity may be an issue for uh people who might have had this dream last night it's because you're putting yourself through unnecessary pressure due to due to vanity due to the vanities of the world it is not allowing you to express the way you should be because you're um you're viewing yourself as as something something is wrong with me um i've been told this about myself i've been told this about myself more limitations 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 um yeah limitations so i've been told this about myself um I've been I've been feeling this way about myself. Well, I don't have this going on or I don't have this physical thing going on. My ass ain't big enough or my hair not long enough or whatever little things that may come into your mind. It's like a prison that you're allowing limitations that you're absorbing from the outside world to uh come in and just like bondage you bondage you it's like release those things release those things and see things from a otherworldly view with your crown chakra <laughs> and don't be afraid to express the differentness of you the uniqueness of you <laughs> i don't even know if differentness is a word but the uniqueness of you don't be afraid to express that it's okay to express that and this is exactly what is going to really set you free and allow you to break through limitations and allow you to explore depths of yourself um so let's go with a real talk affirmation so basically, what is a takeaway from this dream? A quick takeaway from the dream that some of you may have had last night about robots and aliens. Mm. 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 Okay. So, yin and yang, which also relates to the high priestess. As you'll see, there is a black and a white column because the high priestess is bringing the yin and the yang together. She is finding a balance between um, intuition and logic. So here we go, yin and yang. There is a flow of both masculine and feminine energy within us all, which represents the duality present in life. Allow these energies to work together in harmony within yourself to maintain circulation and balance. So this is about staying balanced between your divine feminine energy and your divine masculine energy. So staying balanced between your logic and um, your intuition. And I feel like a lot of people are really um, moving in a lot of masculine energy. And you need to bring some more feminine energy, some more intuition, some more dreamy energy in in order to balance out the two. Because right now it's too much masculine energy. I also got individuality, which says freedom of expression is a gift and what makes you you. I always feel comfortable expressing your individuality regardless of what others think. Your style, beliefs, and interests create a unique picture to share with the world. So again, this goes back into embodying your uniqueness, exploring your uniqueness, expressing your uniqueness, regardless of whatever vanities and vain as uh, limitations and standards that the world puts on you. Express your uniqueness, embody your individuality. Don't blend in with the crowd. Don't become a robot. Don't do that. Be yourself. Because... 
Can't nobody do you like you do you. Regardless of how cliche that may sound, can't nobody do you like you do you, which means that you do you best. So instead of trying to do somebody else and you're probably failing at trying to do and live like somebody else, just do you. Live you. Live in your truth. You don't got to live by nobody else's truth because at the end of the day, when you go to sleep at night, don't nobody matter but you. And at the end of the day, when you leave this physical world, you're going to be leaving alone. So you and your opinion only matters. You and your individuality only matters when it comes down to living in your truth and expressing yourself and breaking through limitations. Um, and then this one says beyond 3D. Sometimes events and situations are beyond what we can see at physically at the moment. Now is the time to trust that there is more that meets the eye. Understand that the 3D world we live in is just one aspect of our reality. So 100% this goes into everything else that I've been talking about. Start to think beyond the 3D. And a lot of times the dream state is going to allow your thoughts and allow certain things to flow that are beyond the 3D, the 3D because the dream state is beyond the 3D anyway. So, um, yeah, it's like thinking beyond what this physical world thinks is cool, thinks is dope, or th thinks is the norm or thinks should be the norm. Like thinking beyond that. Thinking beyond that, clearly your mind is already open to it because of the dreams you're having, but you just need to be more open to it and realize and uh, realize that, yes, you're 100% okay. The way you are is 100% okay. The thoughts that you have are 100% okay. You and your uniqueness is dope as fuck and start expressing that. Start expressing that more and I guarantee you will feel more comfortable as an individual. And um, you will also notice major, major changes in your life. And I feel like specifically for the people that um, had this dream last night, just realize that the things, the thoughts that you have, the, the things that you dream about, like your biggest dreams that you wish could come true, the miracles that you want to occur in your life, know that they are occurring probably in different forms, but also know that just because it's not happening right now, just because you're not popping right now, just because you may not be where the world says that you should be right now, does not mean that you are in the wrong place or the wrong space. Um, does not mean that at all because uh, this physical world only really knows so much. <laughs> and when you think about it um, through a, a bigger picture and going beyond the 3D, it's like most of the things that the physical 3D world like goes crazy over or thinks is important, like a lot of those things really aren't important. So um, a lot of it is based on vanity. So don't get your mind all messed up and get your crown chakra all doubt full of doubt and full of fear just because um you're not getting thumbs up from the physical world around you um you're breaking from limitations you're breaking through limitations so hey everybody can't do that so sometimes it's it's going to be a little bit lonely for a moment when you first break through those limitations just because everybody's not going to be willing to break through those limitations. But you're going to find a soul tribe eventually um, that will be there with you because they're, they'll be walking the same path or something like that. So, yeah, if you had dreams about robots, aliens last night, Invite in some more feminine energy into your life so that you can bring it into balance and so that you can stop using logic as your sole resource for making decisions and um, for taking action. It should be a combination of both logic and intuition. And um, don't forget to express yourself, express your individuality and your uniqueness because that is what makes you you. And I'm about to pull three last affirmation cards so that we can walk away um, speaking something into ourselves, regardless of if you had this dream last night or not. Okay.
because I need a little affirmations for myself today. Okay. <clears throat> I am enough. I am unique and I am magical. And that is something to be proud about. I am unique. I am magical and I am enough. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So yeah, that's everything that I have for you all today. Um, if you had a dream about robots and aliens last night or robots or aliens, UFOs, anything extraterrestrial last night during the new moon in Capricorn, let me know in the comments because I would love to know. Peace out.